This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect a Spectrum Plus 2A, Plus 2B or a Spectrum Plus 3 model computer to a TV or video monitor via the HDMI input. To do that you'll need my RGB SCART lead and this low cost SCART to HDMI video converter. This is a generic model, uh, unbranded model of uh, video converter. You can buy branded models, but they're basically all the same inside. Okay, let's uh, connect everything together. Make sure the computer and the monitor are switched off. Connect the DIN plug of the SCART lead. into the RGB socket on the computer. I'm also going to connect this Enjoy Pro 1 interface as well, just so I can load games up easily. Then connect the uh, power supply. Next, Connect the SCART plug at the other end of the SCART lead into the SCART input on the video converter. Then connect one end of a HDMI video lead to the HDMI input on your TV or monitor. This one's already connected. Connect the other end of the video lead to the HDMI output on the converter. Then connect the power to the converter. Next, switch on the monitor or TV and select the HDMI input. On this monitor, there's just a button on the front. It'll be different on yours. Next, switch on the power to the video converter and you should see a light come on. Click the SCART HD button to select the SCART input on the TV. As you can see at the moment it's showing HDMI and we want SCART input so I'll press the button and see so you see SCART on the screen. The resolution on this one is already set at 1920 and 1080 which is 1080p which is the best resolution for this particular monitor. You may need to press the 720 1080p button several times, which basically changes the output resolution of the converter to best match your monitor or TV. Okay, now we've done that, and we've got the SCART input selected. Make sure you've got the aspect ratio of the TV or monitor set for 4.3 and not 16.9 widescreen. It will work in widescreen, but you'll get a stretched picture. All retro computers and games consoles output a 4-3 aspect ratio picture. Right, so I've just switched the, uh, the spectrum on. You'll see the status box which comes from the video converter. We've got a PAL signal, and the resolution is set there, which is 1080p, which is the best resolution for this monitor. The status box will disappear automatically after a few seconds, there it goes. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that and it does vary from converter to converter. Some converters it stays on longer. Okay, I'll just load up uh, again so you can get an idea of the picture quality. I'll switch that light out and we can see the screen better. You should get um, a clear, steady picture uh, with vivid colours, uh, and the sound comes from the monitor or TV. Uh, just a quick uh, note about video converters. They're not all compatible. Um, in fact, most of them aren't compatible with the 15 kilohertz video signal that all retro computers and retro games consoles output. So for more information, 
uh, have a look at this uh, document which you'll be able to click the link below the video which gives you more information about this video converter and also these professional more expensive video converters my video leads also compatible with the latest video converters on the market which are designed specifically for retro computers and games consoles they're professional video converters a lot more expensive but uh, for your serious enthusiasts these are highly recommended all my video leads have been designed and tested and are fully compatible with these video converters um, the retro tink 5x which has s video component video composite video and SCART output, input rather, and HDMI output. The RetroTINK 2xx, which is a, a very simple but advanced converter, which basically has SCART input, HDMI output, and no other controls. All the other converters, excluding the one in this video, have a lot of complicated settings which you can change if necessary. Uh, and the third converter, which is my favourite, which is the OSSC, the Open Source Scan Converter. So my lead's compatible with all those. So if you want any more information, click the links below the video in YouTube. Um, and that's about it for me for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful.